So we got to MSR Houston, got the car set up and did some dialing into the tire pressures and the shocks to get these Eknovas to work on the back. Immediate, immediate difference. I mean, the car felt way punchier. I was actually sitting at Redline for most of my runs during practice and I had a way better time committing uh, to making a good dive into the lead car because I was able to make that dive kind of back off the throttle and get back into it uh, to keep the proximity instead of having to make a crazy dangerous transition and just stay matted the whole time, uh, which is, you know, it's risky and sometimes it doesn't pay off. So, I mean, you can see it for yourself, watch these couple of clips and I think it makes a big difference and the car sounds nuts too. I think it even shoots a fireball. I'll have to look at the footage and see. Between the headers, the diff, and then the Zeknovas out back, uh, this car is a completely new car. I mean, I'm keeping up with an HRZ. I have plenty of power. The car's staying at Redline. I mean, it feels like a brand new car. I realized that I was running out of wheel speed. I would get to limiter and pretty much be there and the car would start to straighten and grip up. So I ended up increasing the rev limit a couple hundred RPM, which is a funny problem because it's the opposite of what I had last time. I was bogging down on power and the car wasn't going to Redline and then straightening up. I, I was practicing a little different than I should have. I was driving with Max for the most part the whole time uh, for practice and we were kind of floored into the first turn. He and I have a very similar driving style where we kind of enter on throttle and stay on throttle for most of the run. And I know Vadim is a good driver. He has a big power LS Pro car and I'm like, okay, I have to bring, I have to bring it to this guy to be in the fight. I think I transitioned my weight a little too soon with the steering wheel and then didn't throw it to catch myself as I was transitioning around. Ran to full lock a little faster than I was anticipating. You know, I spun, so that adds pressure, right? You know you're at a deficit and you know what the judges are looking for. They actually warned us in the driver's meeting not to stay too close into turn one, which is the opposite of what I did. I have my first real big fender bender on the E46. 
Uh, my first battle was with Vadim and we had a pretty good run. Okay, look buddy. So I got him here and here. He came out pretty all right. Still mostly all right. A little scuff from Max. We're going pretty hard to practice. But uh, yeah. That is pretty bad. I drive with the glass down in case I get into an accident so that it doesn't get in my eyes or on me. And it definitely worked, but now I have to figure out what I'm going to do because I have to street drive this car home. Not that I care about street driving with the window down. I have headphones and I have something, you know, I'll be okay. Uh, but I don't know how I'm going to secure the car, so that might be an issue. I'm hoping maybe we can find a door while we're down here and just change it because that would be pretty easy. Hey Caleb. Yeah. Thank you, buddy.
I'm really happy with how this thing is doing now. We, um, the changes we made really worked. It's super fun to drive with Max and I'm out of the points for Texas Street Legal. I think I'm gonna do the Houston Police Academy event and then that might be it for me, but we'll see what happens. I definitely want this car to go full race car. I just don't know with what engine and with what kind of support. I mean, I still need to trailer, right? So I think that has to happen first before I figure out what else I'm gonna do. Uh, but for now, yeah, I'm really happy with it. We're just gonna keep driving and improving the driving style and uh, maybe stock up with some spare doors and some spare glass because that's kind of nuts. I have found a door on Facebook Marketplace. I'm totally overpaying for it, but I don't really have a choice. Normally, I, I don't really care about the smashed up body panel. My problem is that I can't lock the car without glass right i can lock the door but that means anyone can still reach in and grab whatever they want so i've scumbag sweet max over here i've scumbagged him into waking up with me after <laughs> a really long day yesterday we're gonna go grab this door uh and get back to the airbnb and i think crush a nap afterwards because the truck doesn't go out till two i think right yeah two o'clock yeah so that's gonna be the agenda for today isn't this the most drift week shit? Absolutely, 6, 6 a.m. <laughs> for a door. We got it, baby. For a car that I have to street drive back yep. to Dallas. But I, it'll lock now. It'll lock now, yeah. valve took a crap and we smelled gasoline so we stopped there's nothing coming out underneath there's nothing coming out there but we took the rear wheel off on that side and it smelled like super raw fuel and then we took all the stuff out of the back and looked like in the back seat fuel pump area and that smelled like raw gasoline you can see it was wet down in the bottom so we got to make it like a half hour to get it to a resting place and then come back for it next weekend so boo